Okay, in this video we're going to demonstrate for you a simple drug driving test kit. This is a saliva drug test that screens on this particular panel for six drugs. Drugs driving is being introduced into the UK this year. Uh, it's going to initially start with screening for cannabis and uh, cocaine, but pretty rapidly it's going to be rolled out to look at other drugs. And this panel test is also screening for opiates, amphetamine or speed, methadone and benzodiazepines. A particular interesting of benzodiazepines because a big percentage of the population are actually legally prescribed these and the concern is whether these will actually be detected in roadside tests. Removing the test from the sealed foil shows you have a collection swab device which is attached to the lid of the uh, tube and embedded into the tube you have your six drug strips which will give you your individual results for the six drug groups. So to perform this test, very easy to do, the swab is removed from its plastic cover and given to the person to whom you are requiring the test sample from. The swab is completely inert, there's no chemical constituent to it, it's tasteless and it's quite firm when it's initially opened. The good indication of when a sufficient sample has been collected is that the swab will go completely soft and sponge-like. And at that stage, it should have ample saliva absorbed into it to perform all six tests. If the swab is just swabbed around the mouth or cheek and then applied to the test, insufficient saliva will be absorbed and the test will not work. So what we're going to do now is give this to a donor to actually saturate the swab with saliva. All right, that swab's now been completely saturated in saliva. It took a little over 25 to 30 seconds to do so. And at that stage, the swab is completely soft and squishy on the end of the stick. So to perform the test now, it's very easy. The two parts of the test are simply combined, tightened and screwed down. And then this panel here is removed to reveal the six drug strips that are embedded into that swab. Now this test will take between two and 10 minutes to run. It depends on how much saliva has been added, obviously and whether the test results are positive or negative. All negative results can be read as early as two minutes, but for a positive result to be detected, you do need to give it the full development time and read it at the specified time that come with the instructions for the test. Okay, this test has now been running for eight minutes and we can see here, if I bring it close to the camera, you've got a nice clear result there. A control line and a test line match that to the indicator on the actual uh, device and you've got a clear negative result. And you basically look at the coding on each test strip and you'll have individual results for the six drug groups on this panel. And in this test they're all negative because you've got a clear test line and a control line showing at the specified time. So there you are, very nice, easy to perform, quick, very reliable and accurate. These tests compared to gas chromatography and mass spectrometry, which is the gold standard laboratory test, are in the order of 97 to 99% accurate on these membranes. So as a first line screen, these are extremely cost effective and reliable tests to be able to perform and get your initial screening results. If they're all negative results, there's no need to take any further action. The accuracy on there is perfectly acceptable for most authorities. If there was a positive test on this, then obviously it would need confirmation testing uh, on the same sample to absolutely ensure that the results were 100% accurate. So that's the roadside drug test screening for six common drugs.